The first thing that we will be going over is some very basic color mixing. Every time we start to paint, we want to make sure that we have a bucket of clean water with us and a wet rag. When you get your paintbrush out, you want to make sure to get it wet before you start to paint so that it cleans up easier. This tool right here is called a paint key, or some people call it a church key. You use this tool to open up the gallons of paint. The paint that we use is called Roscoe Off-Broadway paint. It's a combination between an artist's paint and a house paint. We all remember basic color mixing from elementary school. So what I want you to know is that these scenic artist paints are more akin to um, an artist's acrylic. They have a pure pigment rather than being mixed with several different inks, like what you will find at the local hardware store. In theater, we have two different ways to mix color. The first way is um, subtractive. When you are taking colors away to get to white, when we are mixing paint, that is subtracting. We would have to subtract the color out in order to get to white. Now, in lighting design, what you learn is additive color mixing because the more light you add, the closer you get to white. When you mix two primary colors together, you get your secondary colors. And when you mix a secondary with a primary color, you get what's called a tertiary color. This image is another version of the color wheel for you to look at. I want to quickly remind you of a couple of concepts. The first one being complementary colors. Complementary colors are the colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel. Hue is the basic saturated color. Tint is adding white, so it's going to make it lighter. And then shade is the version of the color where you've darkened it. In scenic art, we often use earth tones. The earth tones are a variety of different shades of brown and rusty oranges and yellows. Um, the darkest one is Van Dyke Brown, and what I'm going to do on this is just show you the full uh, pigment version, and then I'm going to show you a watered down version as well. When you water down a paint, it's called a wash, and we use washes a lot when we're painting for theater. So Van Dyke is going to be the darkest of the colors, um, and then we get into the umbers. The umbers are dark, but the really cool thing about the different umbers is that they um, range from very warm when you see the burnt umber, you can see that it has a lot of red, which is pushing it towards that warm. The raw umber is going to be a very cool tone. It's got a lot of green. And then the earth umber is very neutral. When we get to burnt sienna, burnt sienna has a lot of red. I don't really use burnt sienna for um, wood grain typically but I do use it often for brick. Raw sienna is again a very neutral color. It's great for using as a base coat for wood grains. Yellow ochre can also be used as a wood grain, but it is a lot brighter.